The most popular handgun for personal security applications in this day and age are polymer framed handguns. Number of reasons for that. Number one, the polymer currently used is as strong, if not stronger, than steel. It flexes, helps absorb some recoil, it keeps the gun very, very lightweight, and it doesn't rust. You would think that that same type of technology would be, would be applied to revolvers, but revolvers are traditionally steel, aluminum, some other type of metal. Well, not necessarily the case now because Ruger now has their LCR, the Lightweight Compact Revolver. And a big factor in that lightweight is this space age polymer material that's used in it. But don't think it's all polymer. The cylinder is, uh, is certainly metal. The barrel shroud that it goes inside the frame is metal. Sights are metal. Trigger mechanism is metal. So what we have is we have that metal in all of those critical components, but in those areas where we can reduce the weight, we've got polymer. And this, this particular revolver has just about everything you would want in it. I, I've never hidden the fact that I was a fan of the Ruger SP-101. It had a number of features I really liked. And they've taken those same features and they've incorporated them into the LCR with one big difference. The trigger mechanism in the LCR is truly unique. It is unlike any other revolver trigger currently in existence. And what it offers is a very smooth and short trigger travel length over everything else. I mean, this gun can be shot very, very fast. Uh, the length of travel is very, very short. And of course, we all realize that the less distance this finger goes out, the less likely the rest of them are going to want to go along for the ride. End up kind of like milking the gun like you're milking the teat on a cow. Bad thing when you're trying to hold the muzzle on target. That's not the problem with the LCR. You can get on that trigger really, really well. The rubber grips are made by Hogue, and they've got some nice finger grooves in them. I'm not a big fan of finger grooves ordinarily, but in the case of the LCR, they just seem to fit me well. Now, a little commentary about finger grooves. A lot of people don't really understand what they do. In the case of the LCR, do you notice how this finger groove underneath the middle finger is very pronounced? The reason for that is when I wrap that finger in there and I wrap it around the gun, you see how that cams the muzzle down? That's why the angle of that finger groove is set up as it is because as I wrap my middle finger around, it literally cams the muzzle down on target. That's a big plus when you're trying to control the recoil. The next one down tapers back a little bit more so that when that ring finger wraps around, it just accentuates that camming down action on the muzzle. So, a lot of thought went into those grips. You'll notice they've got a nice palm swell to fill the hand. It's got a recoil shoulder right here to help tame the recoil because this gun comes not only in 38 Special, but in 357 Magnum. And when you're touching off a 357, that little bit of rubber back there comes in really, really handy. Now, the polymer frame comes up and totally encloses the hammer spur. I like that. I like to tuck my snubby into my waistband, into my pockets, maybe an ankle as a backup gun, and that hammer spur to me is just a hook to snag. They do have an LCR with an exposed hammer for those of you that like it. Ruger's taking your likes and concerns into account, but for me, the enclosed one's the way to go. As you can see, it's got a big, deep sight channel with a wide notch. It's got basically the same serrated front sight that's pinned in place as the SP-101. The serrations are there to help you see it, but what I like about the serrations is it helps hold the paint that I like to put on my front sight so I can see it even better. Another thing that came over from the other Ruger revolvers, it's got a push-in button cylinder release. You don't have to push it forward, you don't have to pull it back, you can just lay your thumb up next to it, push it in, cylinder pops open for a fast reload. Ejection rod is as long as it can be and keep the barrel short. It's totally enclosed, so you don't have to worry about bending that. The LCR, quite frankly, has just about everything you could want on a snubby revolver and nothing you don't need. So if you're looking for a high quality snubby, you want something light in the pocket, but easy on target when you're trying to shoot it, the LCR, well, you don't need to look any further.
Pantio.